Hello wonderful people and welcome to another video. While I create this voiceover, there are neighbors dog howling and I think some neighbors might have gotten some cute little um, puppies, but they howl a lot and well, I can't make them stop. So if you hear them in the background, I'm really sorry. But they did it for hours now and I'm not sure if I get a quiet minute soon. So big welcome to everyone new to this channel. I'm Lana and today it's just simple painting and playing around with the new to me palette. This is going to be a simple and relaxing video for myself and for you hopefully too. On this channel we have mainly watercolor art and reviews of paints. To thoroughly review the paints, I do not only swatch them, but use them to play around and see how they behave in action. That is how they flow, glaze, lift and mix, or whatever technique I'm using for the actual testing paintings. If a palette like this one was created by an artist, I attempt to paint in their style too, to see if it works well and what possibilities, uh, possibilities slumber in the composition of colors selected. This is a process I do not often share with others, but often keep for myself, hide it in the sketchbooks or just put it to the side after forming my, my opinion. This time I decided to share my process of testing the paints and if you enjoy it, I would like to share more of it in the future. As you know, all the paints that my hand touch will at some point end up in the watercolor database suncolors.com where you can look them up and even check how the paints behave after being tested for light fastness. The 2021 tests are already in the windows, but May was very rainy, other than the last few years, where we had heat waves and droughts. I personally actually prefer the rainy weather, but the testing time will be extended to have reliable results. That's what we are here for, right? This um, palette I was playing with is the Pink Floral Palette by Van Gogh, or in German Van Gogh. Van Gogh creates student grade paints and I was familiar with the cheap version. This is the first time trying the pens for me. As it's the floral set, I kind of got inspired by the artist who put together the palette. So I painted some very simple floral designs to see how the paint flows and glazes. There were also some brushes that I did try too and used them for the florals. I was especially curious about the color mixes, which turned out okay and just played around with the paper to see what I can create. The tiny paintings are about A6 size, which is actually perfect to be made into cards. Greeting cards are always needed and I do make them from time to time to have a little stash to grab one from. My designs are usually very simple. I did use stems a lot before. I dug into watercolor and I still have a love for beautiful pattern papers. Lucky me that they have more use around here than for greeting cards only. One of them is to create beautiful covers for handmade sketchbooks. This is another project that I want to start soon and make myself another sketchbook. Flowers, especially painted from imagination, aren't something I do paint often. So I had to ease myself into this and found it quite enjoyable. Especially when it came to layer and get the nice and light effect of transparent petals.
When it came to assemble the cards, I created simple card bases from a st structured cardstock and cut the panels to size, so there is a small border left around them. For the sentiments, I printed out a bunch of sayings and greetings in German, as it's where I live, on my laser printer. For that I used a heavier paper of 120 GSM. Part of the sayings were foiled using a laminator, which actually was the first time of me trying that. It came out okay, and I need to adjust my folding technique a little for it to look better. But it was decent. So I cut up all the sayings and in strips and chose the ones I liked best for the cards. From the rest of the foil I foiled a black printed square and was able to use the negative from the sentiments. So now I had gold on white and black on gold to choose from and the regular black on white too of course. Some of them look just like cute little labels and I like that. As there were two metallic colors on the palette too. I used some of them in the paintings and the foil golden sentiment went well with the sparkle. So now I have some more cards for my stash and know more about the paints, so new to me. The review for these paints is coming soon and I hope you will stay for that. I hope you enjoyed this little insight in my process and I would love to know how you get to know your new supplies. How do you approach them? How do you test them and see whether they work for you? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about that. Thank you all for being here. Welcome again. And I hope you have a good time and a wonderful day. Bye.